Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Same here. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. Oh, not the same. Not the same. She I'm sorry. She saw a whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Same here. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? For plot purposes, yes. That's the only yes. kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient, spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. Damn, I couldn't finish reading Mass Effect. You suck. I can't read that fast, you know. Wow, look at Jupiter. Did you guys see Jupiter? The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Neptune. Nice. Beautiful Neptune. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. You know, I thought the subtitles were going to be at the end of the transit. screen, not at the top. Because if that's the case, I'm going to change the subtitles to off. You know, it's been long due since I've done a space movie, so that's Shepard. I mean, I do have a soft spot for redheads, thanks to Kate Winslet when she did Titanic. And you know, I love space games. I mean, ever since I played Guardians of the Galaxy, that was a very fun space game to do, so I figured why not try Mass Effect. I know two different genres. But still, I usually play old school games. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Damn. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped wow. across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I agree. Send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? You made him mad. Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. So I do like how Shepard, the main character, actually talks, compared to Fallout 4 and even Outer Worlds. Press the Options button to access the mission computer and view the journal. Okay. Prologue on the Normandy. You are you are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Officer on the SSV Normandy. Okay. View task. Speak to the captain. Nice. Oh, this is nice. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Okay, sorry. You know, for a game that was out. Back in, what, 2007? The graphics are actually pretty good. We're getting dragged right along with it. Relax, Presley. You gotta give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. 
You heading down to see the cat? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am. Yes. Maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Thank you, Presley. So... So, this was supposed to be a very clean-cut mission, but a lot of people are wondering what's going on, really. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I oh, you're you trigger-friendly. You're Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. The Ooh. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Really? Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Really? So they can do some wild stuff without actually being persecuted? I don't know how I feel about that. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You put Come yourself on, on a Jenkins. Coot. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Good, Jenkins, because honestly, curiosity kill the cat. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. And we definitely need you around for a long time, not a good time, you know? All right, let me see. Commander Shepard. Yes. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof My that people? humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Is there something you're not telling me? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Any place is, is dangerous. Is the truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. Yes, this please. This is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. 
What is a Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. What is it? Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Wow. Even Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Excuse Some me? Some species see you as selfish. What? Too unpredictable. What? Too independent. Hmm. Even dangerous. Wow. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. Okay, I can see why. Not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. And you're one we of them, obviously. Group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. You know what? I respect that, and I respect you. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us at school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Out of thin Nobody air? Really knows how or why, though That's I suspicious. But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. But it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. So this is definitely a very important mission. In fact, one of the most important missions of humanity. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That wow. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. So, a potential treasure hunt for this possible weapons of mass destruction. Okay. Okay, it makes like sense. The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes, but some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. Oh, the no, they're bloodthirsty. The is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. All right, Just well, I'm word, down. Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. I am not surprised something crazy is about to happen. Oh wow, they're being attacked as we speak. I mean, I'm ready to jump in, Captain. This is getting too much. Heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We 
an evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Oh, he's dead. Who's attacking them? Is that a hand? Oh, wow. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. They're all dead. Traffic. Reverse and hold the 38.5. See, that's what I'm talking about. What is that? A ship? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. They're wiped out. They're dead. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell him I'm going Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay. I'm down. I'm curious to see what that hand's about. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. Wow. The beacon's your top priority. Oh, that Approaching sucks. Drop point one. So we're not even focusing on saving uh, or grabbing people. I move faster on my own. Okay, big shot. Go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Scott out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Thank you, Captain. We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Smells like smoke and death. Yeah, it is. What happened here? This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Okay, so pad. Okay, use pad to draw or holster your weapon. Use R2 to fire. Finally, some action. Dude, I just did two shots. Calm down. Holy cow. Oh, so apparently L1 is to change weapons. That's sick. Okay. You know. Out of the Worlds and Fallout 4 have definitely prepared me for this. So whatever type of enemies I'm going to end up coming across, I'm ready. Yep, hold to switch. Ooh, okay. Alright, gentlemen, we're here. And we are going to kick some booty, so... I'm glad I'm not doing this alone, though. That's the only difference compared to the other games I've played. What am I looking at? I got on that shepherd. She's looking mad cute right now. Don't tell me he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Of course. Of course he's dead. The way that he stood there getting shot, too. Like, come on, bro. Really? Jenkins. Are you dead? Oh, yeah, he's dead. I can tell. Right through his shields. We're at a chance. <sighs> we'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. You know, I have empathy. I'm not gonna be like, hurry up, let's kill. Okay, so at this point, we definitely gotta go this way, right? No, this way. Oh, this is crazy. I really hope I'm... Medi gel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omni gel can be used to bypass decryption and electronics challenges. Both can be... Damn, I can't even... You press... Triangle to use mini, mini gel to heal your squad. All right, he's good. Okay, so at this point, ooh, excuse me, rude. 
Another one? Got you. You know, for plot armor purposes, as you gain levels, I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay. Press the options button. Interesting squad. How's my squad doing? The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Use the arrow to select the talent or its rank. Press X to spend a talent point. To gain a rank in the selected talent, as you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Interesting. So it seems like Shepard's really good at combat assault rifles. Okay. This is good. What about uh, Kaden here? Kaden, what are you good at? Decryption and throw. Okay. So if I'm good at assault rifles, then... Yeah, okay, I'm ready. Use the arrow to issue orders to your squad, attack, all that stuff. Oh yeah, she's good. Alright, we got this. You're not gonna die. Come on, call back, let's go. Okay, we're good, we're good. You know, I'm so happy I decided to put this game down as easy mode, because I know I would have died fast. Faster than Jenkins. Oh man, this is intense. Wow. Who's coming? Who's coming? Mad action. What? Are they making love to that guy? Oh no, they're not. They're killing him. Okay. Good to know. Oh, those robots are dangerous. I would have hid, too. And she's freaking out. I would be freaking out, too. I'm not trying to get impaled. Look behind you. Oh, gosh. I got you. Don't worry. Excuse me. Oh, uh, they're taking up lots of bullets. All right. They're dead. Talk to me. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Okay. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. No wonder. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Yeah, why they are they here? For the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Oh yeah, she's ready. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed centuries. to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. So there are robots that finally grew a backbone and fought back. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Wow, that's crazy. The Geth really did ambush Have them you seen like the that. Inspector around here. 
There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out! All right, that was random. Press the options button to access the mission computer, then go to the squad screen to spend talent points for a new squad member. Overkill allows long bursts of assault rifle fire without overheating. All right. This is nice. So I say we can do some armor. No? I have no points. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, you guys. To change your team's equipment, press the options button to access the... You know what? Options? No. Squad. I don't know what am I... You know what? Cut it out. Anyways, I'm just trying to play and shoot. Run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rock. Okay. I mean, hold on. Crip Storm, Crip Avenger. Ooh, oh yeah, I'm good. Press the square to throw a grenade. Oh, oh, that's sick. Oh, that is a good gun. I am so hyped. All right, where's the second person? I don't see... Honax while moving to Storm Ford Rafferty. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, this is bad. Okay, wrong, wrong gun. Let me equip this one. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Why? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this shotgun sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm not trying to talk to you, ma'am. Trust me. I'm not used to this. Okay. So we're good, right? What's this? Okay. Uh, I'll take all. Got it. So this is the dig site? This is the dig site. Okay. Beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Someone By stole it. Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Saving content, good job. Okay, so... There's a small spaceport up ahead. What? I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay, sure. Let's go. How do I run in this game? Oh, I press and hold down X. Perfect. Okay, so the first 30 minutes of playing this game is actually pretty interesting. Oh, no. Dead bodies impaled. Oh. Well, they're definitely not our squad members, so I'm not really... What? What did the Geth do to them? This is not it. Like, I don't... Is this space zombies that we're about to be dealing with? Oh, hell no. They are eating up our bullets. Hold on. There you go. There you go. This is bad. There's actually space zombies in here. I don't know how I feel about that. Who else is trying to hit me up? Hello? Oh, right here. Alright. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface or by spending Omnigel. Repeat the sequence of button presses before the time expires. Oh man, this sucks. What? Uh... Insufficient Omni Gel. I can't do anything. Used to be beautiful here. Come on, what about you, Caden? Eden Prime will never be the same again.
Okay, so we're stuck. That is so good. I'm so happy we're stuck. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.